Hello and welcome to my first Ableton tutorial. Today I will present you 10 things that probably are in the Ableton manual, but uh, as we all know, <laughs> nobody reads the manual, so I'll show it. Uh, number one, how to get an edited loop from the range view uh, over here to the session view. Okay, I'll show you what I mean. I take a loop here. Okay, and I will edit it a bit. Okay, let's see what we can make here. Okay. Okay, that's my edited loop. It's very easy. Just mark all, press Ctrl and J or Apple and J. Okay. Then you see it merged all together to one loop. So you can take it with uh, um, Control X or Apple X over here and it worked. So, number two. Number two, um, how to reverse something. Well, that is an easy one and everybody should know this, but actually. I didn't knew that this a uh, long time, so um, let's take the loop here and just take this ref. Okay, listen. That's it. Number three, sidechain. You probably heard of sidechain. It's used very often in house, dance, EDM to create a special pumping sound. So. Um, I will show it. It's a bit more complicated than the other two ones. First we need a bass drum loop. Okay, let's create here. Um, okay. Um, okay, perfect. Here and then we need something spherical or ambient or whatever. I prefer screams. So there are my screams. Okay. Okay. So now. Uh, go to audio effects, then compressor. You have to put it in here for the audio effects in here. Okay. Then go to this, open, sidechain, and the, searching this, uh, the input you want to sidechain. Okay. And when I pull down the, the thrash, you, you will hear the difference. You hear it's a pump, pumping sound, it's also graphical, uh, there's a graphical view over there. So if you didn't get it properly, uh, there's a lot of lot of sidechain tutorials out there on YouTube, so just check them. Number four, does the sample fit? Well, that's uh, also an easy one, but <laughs> I also uh, didn't knew it a long time. So we have here our little great track. <laughs> okay, and um, over here there's um, a break bit it over here uh, but I want another break bit so the problem is that's one speed and my brakes are much slower so does it fit or not uh, as you all know we can just put it over here the whole stuff and then listen from one track uh, from one loop to another if it fits or not. Well, 
Well, but there's um, a really simple solution for that, that you don't have uh, much uh, stuff messing around here. Uh, just play the track and then go to your loop. Number five, transpose. Well, that's uh, also uh, basic stuff, but probably you didn't knew that. So we have here our clip of uh, our tortured person. <laughs> okay. Um, so go down here in this area to envelopes, then clip, and here transposition modulation. And there you can actually uh, change the pitch of uh, the whole loop. So that's normal. Then plus one, plus two, plus eight, nine, minus ten, eleven. <laughs> so you hear <laughs> maybe uh, sounds shitty, but you can improve that. So over here, that's how the whole sample is uh, warped. And that is the standard is for beats. You have here uh, stuff to change. And if you take, for example, Complex Pro. Well. Well, it sounds even more shitty. <laughs> Well, you have to figure it out from <laughs> from tone to tone. What's the best solution over here? Uh, well, this sounds quite good. Number six, crop. You all know that you have a very long audio file, which goes about uh, three minutes or kind of like that. You just need a sample. Uh, let me see, let me hear. It was a lucky break. With one lucky break, it was a lucky break. Okay, here's our lucky break. Okay. And now, see, the whole sample is still there. It's not just the small sample, it's the whole stuff. So, how to get rid of this? It's very easy. Just make a right click over here and then crop. And. It was a lucky break. Number seven, how to create a melody out of everything. Okay, let's create a MIDI track. Okay. And you have here the normal instruments and instrument tracks, the instruments from Ableton. There's some basic stuff and maybe uh, you can't hear this anymore or you want to go further with your sound, so just use that simpler. Put it in here, okay. Now we need a sound file. Well. Okay. Okay, put it in here, to simpler. And let's make a new MIDI file and make a melody. Okay. Try. And you have a complete new instrument without buying expensive shit. Number eight, creating melodies no one has here before. Well, that's a very simple melody. <laughs> maybe you're a melody man or maybe you're not much into melodies but want to create some more interesting melodies than just this stupid stuff. So um, you can put every a wave file, every sound file into the, um, the MIDI 
track and it creates automatically uh, a new melody. Okay, I, I show you. Uh, just a moment. What do I have here? Okay, and put just put it over here. Then you have three options, harmony, melody, drums. Um, I mostly go with harmony, maybe melody. You can try it out for yourself. It creates different files. So, okay, let's try harmony. Whoa. <laughs> you hear completely insane. Uh, again, let's try melody. Oh, less stuff. And you have here a complete new melody. You can, uh, okay, I don't like this over here. Or maybe you want to reproduce it here. Number nine. We're here in the arrange view of another track. And you see I have um, much tracks, 16 tracks over here. And um, sometimes it's annoying uh, if you want to just hear some and you have to make them smaller, everyone. It's annoying. Maybe you have 50 <laughs> tracks, so... <laughs> There's another trick for this, just um, control A, take everything, and oh, makes everything small, everything big. Number 10, slice. Slicing is a bit more difficult. Um, you have maybe the problem. Oops. <laughs> As you already see, you can create new loops when you um, cut the stuff here um, and rearrange it. That's nice, but it's also a bit difficult, takes uh, much time. So there's another way i show you. Okay, just go to the track uh, the loop you want to slice. Okay, right click, then slice new mid track. Okay, you can create slice per bar, half note, quarter note, and so on. Let's take this. You also have some presets here, you can try this later. Okay. And as you see, it creates some slices out of the whole loop. Okay. So you can easily create a whole new loop. That's it. So thanks for watching and sorry for my horrible English. See you next time.